Hello, my name is Liza, and today I'd like to share with you how I turned a Dollar Tree plastic wine goblet into a floating ornament type candle holder. Of course, this is only going to work with the flameless candles because the glass is plastic. What you're going to need is a Dollar Tree plastic wine glass that comes for to a package. So you can actually make four of these if you'd like to. You'll need some Mod Podge, doesn't matter what kind, it's just for attaching the glitter. Some votive candles, flameless of course. I purchased these last year, I'm going to use them in a different way. I uh, used some principal vellum and some white glitter because that's the motif of my candle. I have a free printable. Just leave a comment with your email address and I'll be happy to send it to you because I know not everybody has a Cricut. Choose a picture that you want to have inside your goblet. I chose this one. I live in Florida, so I superimposed my granddaughter onto a winter scene. I took my template and I cut out the goblet and then I printed my picture onto vellum and I used my template to cut out the picture. Next, I made a circle. I cut a circle out of white glitter cardstock. Make it bigger than your actual goblet. I didn't make it quite big enough, but I made it work. Then take your goblet, put it on your circle and trace another circle because you're going to cut it slightly larger than your cup. And then make little slits into until the pencil mark and fold them up. I use some uh, 1 8 inch two sided tape, but I did end up using some hot glue as well. I um, put the two sided tape on the rim of the glass, put my picture, my vellum picture inside the glass and then attached my white glitter circle to the bottom of the glass. Once that was attached with hot glue also, I used Mod Podge to make a snowy scene on the rim of my glass. And I also added some um, glitter and Mod Podge to the stem and of course to the portion that is now the top of the glass, which used to be the bottom, the stand that the glass stands on. Once it was all dry, I only glittered the underside of it and I put a uh, two-sided dimensional on the center so that I could stand my votive candle up. But if you have a regular candle, that step's not necessary. I added a little um, buffalo check ribbon as a scarf and my project was complete. I think it's a cute, inexpensive little addition to a tear tray or just to keep the spirit of winter alive for a few more months. I hope you enjoyed my project. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Again, if you'd like interested in the template, please leave your email address in the comments. And as always, if you aren't a subscriber, please consider doing so. I'll be back again soon with another project. Thank you. Take care.